Today we're going to walk through some of the basic features of coding with Chrome. So I've already got my uh, Chrome browser open here and I've got my apps all showing and you can see here I've got the standard Google Docs and Slides but over here I've got an icon for my coding with Chrome application. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and you can see here it's opening and launching and we get this nice screen where we get the uh, welcome message and we can do a couple of things. You know there's a lot of features available in the application. Uh, we can use uh, visual programming languages to, to build some uh, robotics or to use some other to build some other programs. Uh, we can also write straight code so that we can get involved with some actual, you know, typing and, and typing out code. Uh, and we have uh, some other resources available, but for today we're going to go ahead and start some basic coding. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button, and you can see here I've got JavaScript available so I can build some basic code. Now as soon as I open this, I get my nice little environment where I can start editing JavaScript code. First thing I'm going to do is click on uh, Untitled Basic File up here, and I'm going to change this to My First JavaScript. So now you can see we have a name for this, and if we want to save this, we can just click the Save button. That's going to pull up uh, an option for me to save my uh, my Chrome file, coding with Chrome file here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, you know, we'll put this right on the desktop. We'll go into me, and there we go. We'll go ahead and save this right here. So now we have our first file saved. And the environment has a couple of different features. You can see up on the right, if we want to close, we can click the exit. If we need uh, help, we can click the question mark. If we want to connect to a Bluetooth device, which isn't really going to be so useful while we're coding JavaScript, but you know, if we want to connect to a, something, some type of Arduino or robotics, we can do that. Uh, but in the actual coding, on the left side of the screen over here, what we have is an area to type in some JavaScript. Uh, what we have on the right side is what our output is going to look like. So we have some uh, a nice place to edit JavaScript code here. We have a nice place to view the output. We have some other features. You know, we can turn, uh, we can set it up so that uh, the content automatically reloads. We can reload what the preview is. We can play our code. Now, if we're automatically reloading, we don't need to play. Uh, we also have an icon to save. We have an undo and a redo. Uh, we can look at or insert an image. You know, we've got a couple of other options over here. We can open new files, but uh, right now we're going to con concentrate on writing some code. So, for our very first program, we always have to write a hello world program. That's just the rules. I mean, I'm not bigger than the rules in this situation. So what we actually have to do is we have to write some JavaScript code over here. Now if you see here, we already have one line of JavaScript code written, and that's a comment. What the comment does, it's ignored. It's not anything that's actually saved or run. So uh, when we write the comments, they're just to really help us identify what we should be doing. But if we want to actually write some code, what we want to do is write into our document. So uh, we have a document view over here. That's what this preview is, and we have a variable available. And we can explain what that is in a later lesson, but if we type in document, you can see it's automatically trying to pick up uh, what I've written. And you can see here that there's a syntax error because I'm not complete yet. But if I just type document.write, hello world, and uh, this is going to execute my output on the right side. So what's actually happening here? We have this document variable that we can access that's representing uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of what we have on our screen. And what we're saying is write into that document some string. So this is just text. Now there are a couple of things to notice about this string. One is that we are starting with a, a single quote and we are also ending with a single quote. We can actually change that so we use double quotes. They're interchangeable in JavaScript. Most people tend to use one or the other, but uh, we can use single quotes or double quotes to begin and end our strings. Now, what's inside of this string, we're just going to output. Now, since write is a method, which is just a little, uh, little piece of code that is going to execute something, since write is a method, we're going to execute this method with these parentheses, which is in everything within these parentheses is going to be passed into that method. So when we say document.write and we pass in this string, this text, hello world, what we're saying is write the string, the text, hello world, out to the document. And you can see that over here. You know, we could do a couple of other things. We could document.write, you know, we could do calculations, for example, four plus four. And you can see here now we have eight. Uh, we could also document.write uh, 10 times 10. And then we have 100. Now since we're not actually separating any of these, we're getting everything in one long string. So we have a couple of options now. We could uh, add spaces, document.write, and document.write. 
and now you can see we've got a little bit of separation. We can also insert some markup code. Now we'll also talk about markup code a little bit later, but if we want to just put in an empty line, what we can do is just type in uh, angle bracket, br, angle bracket. And what that does is create an empty line. So now you can see here we've got Hello World 8 and 100. So we can do all sorts of things in our, our little uh, program and have a nice environment. Let's go ahead and save our file. We'll be able to come back to that later. And uh, we'll start some more lessons that, have, uh, that will walk us through some of these variables and some of the things that we can do within the environment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy coding with Chrome.